Hi, and welcome to question one of the Leave Insert Ordinary Level, Paper 1 in 2021. As always, if you want a copy of the set of notes I'm working off, just send an email to shanetroy at gmail.com. That email address should be in the description below. If you like these videos, hit the subscribe button to get access to more playlists. So in question one here, we're looking at a VAT question. Let's get stuck in. A television costs 380 euro before VAT at 21% has been added. Okay, so the cost is 380, add on 21% VAT, you have the total cost of the television. And that's what it's asking. It says find the cost of television after VAT has been added. So with percentages, I suppose let's do it up here. Uh, 21% is the same thing as 21 over 100, which is the same thing as 0 0.21. And that's the extra amount. Now the, the 100%, okay, is equal to the 380. Now, write that properly. So one way of expressing this, um, in a sense, this question is, we're looking for what 121% is. So the simplest way here would be to go 380 multiplied by 121% gives us the uh, the cost plus fat. The 100% is the cost, the 21% is that. Now you can just put that to your calculator. Number 121% is the same thing as 1.21. Okay, so you're basically multiplying 380 by 1.21. Now, that's fairly full-on um, probability questioning, okay? And let me get rid of that text there. Now, probably a more standard way of doing this would be to go, well, the 380, I want to find out what 21% uh, of that is. So I'm multiplying it by 21%. Excuse my bad writing. Now, put that to the calculator. Okay, so let me bring my calculator up. And there's a different ways to do this. You could go on the 380, multiply by uh, 21 over 100. Okay, if I can program it right. So that'll give me the number 79.8. I could have gone 380 by 0 0.21, which is the same thing as 21 over 100, and gotten the same answer. Okay, or I don't know whether it's better or worse. We've got 380 multiplied by, you know, tw the percent button on this calculator is down here in the bottom. So multiply by tw no, 21%. Okay, we'll we do it for you. Okay. Either way, I do it, I get the number um, 79.8. Okay, so 79.8. 0.8 euro. Now, in a sense, okay, I have to make sure that that's not that my my answer is the cost plus fat. Okay, so it's 380 plus the 79.8, which gave me an answer of 459.8. Again, I could just use the calculator to do it, and that's in euro. And that's it. Now, the second part B here says, when VAT at 21% is included, the price of a laptop increases by 130 euro uh, and 20 cents. Find the total cost of the laptop, including VAT. Now, this is where things get a bit more complicated. I don't know the price of the laptop. So I'm gonna, I can call that whatever I want, okay? So I can call that like X is equal to price of laptop. Now, I know that when I multiply the price of the laptop by 20%, I get 130.2. So if I can make an equation of that, x times 21% is equal to 130.2. Now, this is an equation of one unknown, so it is solvable, okay? Um, it's just a matter of me going ahead and doing it. When you're trying to solve something, you want the unknown on one side, everything else on the far side. So the x is going to stay where it is. I'm going to bring the 21% across the equal. It's multiplied on the left, comes divided on the right. And again, from an algebraic point of view, if, um, just to redo it over here, what I'm actually doing is getting rid of the 21%. And you can do that from an algebraic point of view by dividing by itself. You can always get rid of anything by dividing by itself. Now, if I do it to one side, I have to do it to both. What's the consequence of this? Okay. Well, this goes away. 
you're left with the calculation x is equal to 130.2 over 21 percent now i can put that through my calculator and just again to show that i could divide that by um 0.21 it's the same thing um so it's a fraction 130.2 and the bottom you could just program the 21 percent button so 21 percent and i got 620 okay so no that's the answer there 620. now that's not my total cost which is what the question is actually asking the mistake i always make is not reading the question properly um the final answer then is the 620 plus the one the 130.2 uh, that'll give me zero, three and two is five, six minus seven. So the laptop with fat, okay, or television, sorry, with fat is 750.2 euro. Okay, I'm putting my units. That's it, it's job done. Okay. So the next question then is looking at, <clears throat> sorry, just to point out that's the answer in the, in the notes. Now part C then is saying, a printer is priced at 290.4 euro including VAT at 21%. Find how much VAT is included in the price of this printer. Now, questions like this can be really hard, but it says here, a printer is priced at 290.4 euro, including VAT at 21%. Okay, so that's the total cost of that printer. Question that is specifically asking us for, find how much VAT is included in the price of this printer. Now, in effect, it's um, what it's saying is that if we call the printer like X or something, P, let's call the printer cost P. So P, okay, plus VAT, okay, um, equals 290.4. Now, this printer cost plus the VAT. Now, just want to go back a step and I'll just erase that stuff there. Um, but effectively, they're saying is that the, the printer plus the twenty one percent is equal to two ninety point four. Now we're looking for what P is. Okay. Now, in a sense, there the twenty one percent you can calculate that by the the, the printer plus the printer printer by twenty one percent is equal to the two ninety point four. Okay. Um, now that 21% is going to be the, the amount of VAT there is. We don't know what P is, but we know that the total cost is that. Now this is tricky, but we've got one unknown here. It's the same letter occurring twice. So if I do the maths of that, okay, I can go with P plus um, P times 21 is the same thing as P plus uh, 0 0.21P, and that's equal to 290.4. Now, that can be added together, and you get 1.21 times P is equal to 290.4. Again, this is an equation of one and one. It always has been, but the two of them being separate can be confusing. If I want to get rid of this 1.21, the simplest way to do it is to divide it by itself. Do it to one side, got to do it to both. 1.21. My bad writing. Now, if you divide something by itself, it cancels. Okay, you're left with P is equal to, now that number there, um, I'm getting this 240. Okay, I have it done on the next page. And that's it. Okay, now, those kind of questions, I really find it useful if you break it down. Um, I haven't done a great job there, but like, understand what's happening. Try to describe it mathematically. Okay, and we've kind of done that there. Once you've described mathematically, even if you're wrong, you know, if you follow it through on the algebra, you're probably going to do a chunk of marks because you've followed the right strategy even if this was confusing and hard to express it algebraically. And it is tricky. Anyway, look, part D here says, on September 1st, 2020, the standard rate of VAT in Ireland was reduced from 23 to 21%. So there's a 2% difference. Now, if I wasn't sure what I'm doing, take those two numbers away. And that's, I'm not sure of the marking scheme, but that's possibly going to get me to three marks, okay? Right, so let's keep going. A company bought 30 computers, okay, in September, doesn't matter, at all at the same price. In a sense, it's just telling you that it was at the 23%, okay? So you could go 30 computers at 
23%. The company calculated that it saved 336 due, euro due to the reduction in the VAT rate. Okay, So if they had bought the computers at 23%, they would cost whatever. Okay, If they bought the 30 computers at 21%, okay, it would cost whatever. Okay, the difference in those two whatevers is the 336. And remember, it's over 30 computers. That's why it's such a large amount. Find the price of one computer before VAT has been added. In one sense, what they're saying is that um, 30 computers uh, times 2%, that's the difference, is equal to 336. If you can get that, the rest is easy. That's the trick. Okay, um, Trying to show that you can interpret the information being given, put into a mathematical form. Now, if that mathematical form is wrong, you're wrong. But if you follow it through, if there's logic here behind how you got to this point, you're going to do maybe the seven marks. And you'd have to see the scheme to know for sure. Um, now, 30C uh, by 2%, so basically I can solve this. The 30C, I can move the 2% across. Um, <clears throat> now, 336 divided by 2%. Now, that's a calculator job. Um, I have the answer, and that one is uh, 16800. Now, I could bring the 30 across and finish it off over here. Um, so C is equal to 168 or 16,800 divided by 30. Okay, do that calculation and I got 560 euro. That's my answer. Now, does that make sense? Okay, if it always look at your number and see, does is that legit price for a computer? This question is from 2021, 560 for a laptop. Eh, okay, it's a pretty basic laptop, but it's not crazy. Not five euro 60. Not 5,600, okay, so there's a logic to the number, so I'm fairly happy I did right, okay, but this question is incredibly tricky. On the next page, I just have the answer that's cleaner, okay, and hopefully that makes sense. Uh, in the part C, we had the price laptop plus 21% of the price, gives you the full amount, okay. Do that little simplification there, that's the same thing as 0.21. Add the two different uh, X values, you get 1.21 times X. Bring it across. That's the first part there, part C. Part D, once you realize that the, ter I use X here, this, the notes, but whatever, 30 times something by 2% gives you 336. And that's the core. Okay. Once you've that done, whatever way you approach the algebra, it's just a matter of finding out what X is. And you get straight to your answer, which is the cost of one computer. Okay. Well, that's it. I think that's the end of question one. So, again, if you want to copy the same notes I'm working off, just send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com and like this uh, video to subscribe um, to get access to more playlists. Thanks.